This is one of my favorite fans. This is the replacement. Interestingly enough, they've upgraded since I had the original, which is at work. The one at work spins at 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 RPMs. The new one spins at 5,000, 6,000, and 7,000 RPMs, just to move a good breeze. So it has a little bit of an upgraded motor. And with that, here we go. As you can see, it's getting dirty just a little bit. I do apologize. I'm put the light on. You can see it getting dirty just a little bit right there. Because since I've had it, uh, it started getting dirty. And these fans are really known for getting dirty rather quickly because of the high RPMs. That was 5,000. This is 6,000 RPMs. full power at 7,000 RPMs and yes at 7,000 RPMs it actually does have bearing issues but what else is new that's what happens when you get stuff like this from China oh well the other one at work has a pinch cord the internals are damaged a little bit and this one has mantling bearings but it is what it is at least it works here it goes enjoy the video Seven thousand RPMs might be a little hard on that motor, but oh well, whatever. It's not my problem. A polar made it that way. Spin down. Does it have a start sound? I don't think so. Wow, look at that. The blades are dirty already. I barely have this for a little while. Just like I was with the one at work that spins at 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Anyway, let's see if we can get a start sound. How dirty it is in the back. Barely had this thing, and wow, it looks like I've had it for all this time, like the other one. But like I said, these fans are known for getting dirty rather quickly. And then, again, because now it has even higher RPMs. And there you go. That's why. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, subscribe, share, love, and like. I'm filming all the small fans this time around, taking a break from the larger ones. So that's what I'm doing in this series. God bless you and gone.